1831, P.C. Thomas Sweeting became Whipping Bower's first policeman. He, he patrolled around Ripon, arrest arresting thieves, stopping fights, and locking up people who drank too much beer. He earned £30 a year. On 14th of December uh, 1840, I was on patrol in North Street, Ripon, when I came across one Thomas Foxen. At this point, I saw that he had two dogs which were fighting in the street. Foxen was shouting encouragement. Now dog fighting was banned in 1835, so I arrested Foxen. But he didn't come easily. He decided to fight me. During the fight, he tore my coat. The following day at court, Foxen was fined 40 shillings for the offence of dog baiting, and I was awarded 10 shillings in order to repair my coat. What was PC Sweeting's stovepipe hat made of? Um, it was made wood of leather. wood and leather. If they bashed him on the head with like um, a giant club, it wouldn't hurt. So PC Sweeting has some really nice buttons on his uniform, doesn't he? What yeah. what emblem, um, what they, picture was on he there? He has a horn, the, horn, the ribbon horn. Sunday, 4th of June, same year. I saw three lads, Christopher Dayton, George Gregg and Thomas Jackson. I saw that all three were engaged in exercise unlawful on the Sabbath day, thereby constituting an offence. I arrested them and took them before the court the following Monday. They were convicted of these offences and fined three shillings uh, with fourpence costs each. Somebody came up to him and uh, with a weapon or raised fists and he tried to punch him. He could just get his truncheon and then whack him. <laughs> Was he allowed to use his truncheon? Only if he needed to use it. PC Sweeting had a rattle, what did he use it for? If somebody's done it something illegal or dangerous, that's the like a little sound. So what did it sound like? Really loud and really annoying. He's got something called a stock around his neck. What was the stock for? Oh, it's so it's he doesn't get so strangled. Yeah, if somebody tries to strangle him, he won't get strangled. Tuesday the 15th of May, 1841. 10.30am, it was reported that three girls, Anne Lupton, who was 14, and Ellsworth, who was 13, and Francis Paler, 12 years old. All three had entered the shop of John Carter, a draper of Kirgate. And after looking round at some of the goods for about 10 minutes, they left the shop without buying anything. Later on, Mr Carter noticed that there were items missing. These items he found were a number of silk handkerchiefs. Later that same day, Anne Lupton visited Mrs Beckwith's hosiery shop. She picked Mrs Beckwith's pocket and stole a purse containing money. Later on, I arrested all girls at their home and searched the premises where I found the silk handkerchiefs and the purse still containing the money. At court the following day, they were sentenced to two months each in the House of Correction. What did they use the lamp for? Um, if it was dark, um, they were like, he would have a lamp so um, he could It would be on his belt. What did PC Sweeting fill his lamp with? Oh, oil. And what would happen if he got oil on his uniform? What could it have happened? Um, it will it'll set flames of fire. Would you like to be a policeman in the 1800s? If my dream is to be a policeman, so yeah, probably. <laughs>